hello everyone my name is Atik Zuman and in this quick video I am going to show you how we can install Zap in our Ubuntu operating system okay so whatever other operating system you are using you can install uh, you can download the respective file from official uh, website of Zap, Zap Proxy okay so just go to zapproxy.org forward slash download and you will find all the installer uh, files here in this page okay so in order to install Zap in my Ubuntu operating system I will just go to Linux installer and I will click on download button as you can see I have already uh, downloaded this installer Linux installer file uh, of Zap uh, 2.10.0 okay so I have installed this and you can install it by clicking this download button here so when you have downloaded just go to that repository and open a terminal here okay so in order to run this file to uh, because this is just an installer file so we must have to check it out uh, that is it executable or not let me just go to properties and let me just see if it is executable or not okay permissions okay so first we need to do what we have to do is uh, let me just remove this okay so I have downloaded my uh, zap 2.0 version uh, installer file and I need to specify uh, I need to make it executable first so that I can run this script uh, in order to install my zap so to make it executable what I need to do is I need to use my command ch mode change mode uh, u plus x so it will be converted into executable okay and then I need to specify the uh, name of the file okay hit enter now it is executable to in order to run it I need to use dot forward slash and name of the file and hit enter when I will hit enter as you can see here uh, above in this directory there is a directory created which is your uh, zap 2.10.0 uh, and you will receive this message you must be logging as a root when installing this program then click ok and uh, we need to make it uh, sudo and forward slash zap so that it it must have some permissions okay so let me enter so as you can see here now it is uh, asking us to uh, install it okay so let's just click next I accept the agreement next install uh, standard installation or custom well, I'm going to install standard one and install so when uh, this process will end all the file uh, and all the files of related to there will be uh, placed in this repository so it is installed now now let's just go to the repository that we have just uh, installed okay let me find out where it went uh, now because I'm not seeing that repository here first I need to figure out figure it out where it is so in order to figure it out what I need to do is I need to use a command locate zap and you can see here my zap file is home epic dot zap okay so what it did uh, it has placed all the uh, related files in my uh, this directory home atik and dot zap in this directory my all files are uh, placed okay so let me just go to home and uh, I'm not seeing all the directories here so I need to go to show hidden files in order to show my file which was mentioning by uh, terminal so here I can find out my dot zap directory as you can see uh, here no I just removed that okay by the way so my installed directory is under zap so just click on it and then just go to uh, plugins and zap yeah we can find it here zap 2.10.10 linux so i will open this up 
and here you can find the file zap.ss so what I need to do is I will just open my uh, terminal here in this repository and use command dot forward slash zap dot ss so this is the way through which we can run our script file so I will just uh, hit enter and you can see that my zap is now up and running this is very easy so let me just repeat my steps first you need to go on the home page of zap proxy in the download page and then you need to uh, download your installer file according to your operating system okay and then after downloading that you have to make it executable and run this script file and this script file will download all the file related to zap and it will be placed anywhere in your operating system if you are using ubuntu and you just have to locate your files which were downloaded by uh, this uh, command okay so when we have find out that files so we have to run just this zap.ssh script in order to run our zap so now you can see that my zap 2.10.0 version is up and running and it is installed so this is very easy uh, through which we can install zap on ubuntu operating system thank you